谢谢。我是。For six months, eight months, a year, travel Europe, travel the world, etc. And this is like ends up being all they own. I'm not saying I want to downsize my life that much. I mean, I already live in a van. That's pretty downsizing with the dog and having a business, you know. That's pretty good already. But I got the idea、um, probably a week or two ago, and I've really been like. You know, this is what I'm gonna do. So pretty much, my plans for 2017 is, of course, still to live the van life. It's the love of my life. Comes number second, actually. My dog comes first. But anyways,、um, I got this backpack because before I lived out a I lived out of a 70 liter, like. Hiking backpack, you know what I mean, and I only had that filled almost halfway, two thirds, whatever, of my clothes and toiletries and some of my dog's gear stuff, and you know that's great if I go backpack camping and stuff like that. So that's why I bought it to carry a sleeping bag and a tent and all those things that you need if you backpack camp. And I just pretty much lived out of it for day to day stuff, you know.、Um, But I wanted to downsize because that pack I didn't even fill up. First of all, second of all, the reason I got this one not only to downsize my clothing, toiletries, etc., but because in 2017 I want to travel.、Um, I'm not ready to travel the world and out of the United States yet, but I'm planning because I've had my own business for eight years, and in those eight years. I have really only gotten to pretty much go on vacation three times. It's so sad.、Um, I went to Vegas twice, only because I have a friend that lives there, and I actually hate Vegas.、Um, so twice I went there for only a couple days, and then I went to Kauai, which I loved, and I'd love to go back.、Um, but I have kind of like some extended family that lives there, so that was awesome to get to go there. But I haven't even really taken very many day trips in those eight years that I've owned my own business. It's not because I work so much; it's because I've never budgeted my time. I mean, I had a lot of other things that happened to me in my life, you know, that I had to take time for, you know. But now, by the end of this year,、um, my van conversion should be done. I should have money. You know, start being able to save up money to be able to travel. So my plan for 2017 is every two to three months, maybe even every two and a half months,、um, take a. I have a whole list of places I would love to go. Now I've already been from Sacramento, California, all the way to Virginia Beach, in Virginia,、um, probably maybe 15 years ago though, but.、Um, My long-term relationship I was in at the time. Long story short, we—he、um, had to go to a military school in Virginia, so we drove from California all the way to Virginia, stayed there for the summer, which I love that. That was really cool, and then we drove back.、Um, it takes about four to five days, and we kind of went kind of quick too.、Um, so I got to do that. So there's some things I got to see along the way that. So there's some things I've never been to. I've never been to New Orleans. I've never been to New York,、um, Seattle. Those kind of places, I would love to go see and see what it's like. You know, so I have kind of a list.、Um, it's not a bucket list. I'm not dying. I'm still gonna be here. But things like I really want to go see and do, and you know, just be like I've been there. I know what that's like now. And 
Um, I don't get a lot of time off from work because my schedule is catering pretty much to everybody else's schedule, but I know if I do not book the time off, I will not get to go anywhere, you know? And I know this last year especially, I've been really burned out because it's like, I already accomplished all my goals. You know, you're like, what other goals is there? Most everybody's goal is finishing school, getting to have kids, getting married, having a house. I've pretty much done everything, almost. I'm not like, oh, I want to climb Mount Everest. Like, no, not really my deal. But I've pretty much done everything. I've pretty much been there, done that on a lot of stuff. So it's for day-to-day -day stuff. So it's like... What else is there to do? You know, I already own my own business. I can't go any bigger. I can't do any more. I already have my own home, which is a van now. Um, what else is there to do? I don't know. So, I guess it's travel. <laughs> and now I have the time and the chance to be able to do that. Um, so, yes, in 2017, I plan to travel every two to three months. I don't know if I'm going to make it every two and a half months, something like that. I need to plan it out. Um, so maybe like, yeah. And then to just say, okay, the first trip, let's say in, you know, January, February or so, say my first trip, let's just say to New York. Well, I'm just going to fly there for the weekend, maybe leave here out of California on like a Friday or a Thursday go to New York, not have any plans, no agenda, nothing. Just go live like a local pretty much and just explore on my own two feet. I may take my mountain bike with me and fly it also and just explore. And then maybe on that Monday or Tuesday, fly back. And then in between those two to three months, I also maybe want to get out once a month or every month and a half and take a camping trip. For me, the weekends are sometimes a little easier to get away because I don't have as much work or it's easier to be like, yeah, I'm taking me time. You know, it's a little easier. Um, during the week, I'm usually there for all my clients. So, you know, it's kind of sometimes easier to get away on the weekends because I don't make as much on the weekends. So it's kind of like I won't lose as much, you know. Um, and then so maybe once a month or every month and a half, just plan a camping trip somewhere where it's four or six hours away. Yes, I'd love to take the van all throughout the states but you know it's so many hours of driving so much more possibility of things happening and my van is my daily driver for work and everything so i just kind of would rather like maybe save the miles and have it more as local or trips like four to six hours at the most away you know in california we have so many places to go camping and so many things to explore and I've lived here my whole life, and I've moved away and come back and moved away and come back and lived, like, a little bit of all over the States. But I've always come back here because it's home, even though I have a love-hate relationship with this place. But, um, yeah, so it will be great. I will vlog as, you know, I go to places and explore, and, of course, I'm going to bring Spike, my little Pomeranian, with me. And it's great because he's my service dog. Um, he, I will go more in detail but in another video, but he is like my psychiatric service dog. He's kind of an emotional support animal also, but he's like borderline of both, but he's kind of more psychiatric service dog. Don't want to go into the details just yet, you know, but he definitely helps me mentally, you know, and I've had some PTSD and severe depressions and things like that in the past and he just like really helps keep me really focused and he just always has my back and always looks out for me and so anyways he gets to come on the planes with me so of course he's going to travel because I couldn't travel without him you know um so there are some places also like Vancouver I need to get my passport first but I would love to go visit there you know and Maybe do another trip to Kauai or Honolulu or Oahu, like those kind of places too. So I'm kind of compiling my list right now of the places I want to go. I guess it would be four to six different major places for me to plan out for 2017. And uh, when I have that list finalized, I will let you guys know. So maybe I can meet some of you fellow Vanners along the way also. That would be cool. I would love to do like collaboration videos with you guys and maybe take little tours of your 
bands and things like that, you know. I'm kind of open to RVs too, but the van is like my passion. Like it's just when you have to make your own home from scratch from something that was something else, like a van is always like it was a cargo van or a passenger van and then to convert it into like a home on wheels, to me it's like amazing. It's like like I just I love all RVers, you know what I mean? Don't get me wrong, I love the whole mobile nomadic, you know, and everybody's story. People have so many, it's just awesome, like I love it all. You know, and their people are so creative and intelligent and just totally different breed, I feel like, you know. But I kind of, I don't have a preference, you know, but, you know, to me, because this is a bit more of a vanning type channel, I would love to, like, be able to meet other, like, banners if I'm out there on the road and maybe we can always meet up sometime, you know what I mean? But, um, let me see if I got all my notes here. I always have to make notes. Um, oh, and then some of the trips I will take, I want to take Amtrak actually, and some of them, if it's not too long, because I do have a dog, and you know, he's got to use his bathroom needs, um, if it's not too long of trips, I want to take um, Amtrak also and be able to ride the train because it's almost like a car ride, so um, without having to take a car, so you get to, you know, see more of the countryside and all that, so that's kind of pretty cool. I did find out recently on their website for Amtrak, you actually can take like your car or your van or your SUV or your motorcycle on Amtrak. Um, I looked at the... Um, specifications for that I don't know all the details but my van unfortunately is just probably like four inches too tall so I had thought about that to be able to take my van onto the Amtrak train and then be able to go on the Amtrak train with my van somewhere and then drive the van back like that would be really cool but I would have to take off the whole roof rack and the solar panel is connected to that roof rack so I don't know if I want to go through all that I mean it wouldn't be too hard it's just so heavy for me as one person to be able to take it all off put it inside the van go travel somewhere put it back on the van so I'm not sure about all of that quite yet if I want to do that but it's kind of an option too but I'm letting you guys know if you guys have smaller vehicles in my big ass van um, or smaller, shorter vans are not as tall, you can go to Amtrak's website. I don't know how much it costs. I didn't see any costs on their website. Um, you can take bikes also on Amtrak, so that would be really cool because I could take my mountain bike with me. And um, that I would love to go see a lot of different cities by bike if it's possible, depending on weather and everything. And then some places like, say, New Orleans, I'm not going to go during hurricane season, okay? So I'm going to have to plan when that would be, for example. Um, and then there's some places like, some camping places like, let's say Yosemite, I've never been, you know. Um, so I'd like to go visit some of those things like by van. Um, let's see, let's see. What else, what else? And then like I have a friend in Eugene, Oregon that I might go visit and then maybe hit a couple places and I have a client that's moving to Seattle so maybe I will go do my Seattle trip then. Um, I have my friend that lives in Vegas and hopefully he moves with them this last year because I don't really like Vegas, you know, but uh, I might go visit him too so um, there's some things in my own backyard in California I have not been to. I have not seen Alcatraz. I think it would be really cool. I have seen it on TV, but um, I have not seen it in person. Things like that, which I think would be really cool. Um, yeah, if there's some things you guys think I really, really, really should see that's in the United States, um, I'm not ready to explore out of the U.S. quite yet. I'll go to Vancouver, because that's, like, not that far out of the U.S., you know, to fly there and back. Like, I think I've heard it takes, like, two hours to fly there, which is, like, nothing. Like, that's pretty cool. Um, yeah, I didn't know that till recently. But, um, if there's places in the States where you're, like, oh, my God, you have to go see that, that's kind of in, ma in a major city maybe suggest it down below in the comments. Um, 
I and then what I don't get to see in 2017 is going to probably be on my list for 2018. So maybe I'll plan some trips for that too. Um, yeah, so I think um, I think that's everything for right now. So talk to you guys later. Like, subscribe, um, comment. Yeah, have a good night.